This is oh. Gar Reynolds. He came all the way from Japan. And usually when he comes in the States, I have the privilege of him stopping by my shop. And so he came mm. by today, and we've spent most of the day together. And we thought it would be interesting for you guys to hear a lot of – we get a lot of the same questions mm. that get asked during a Q&A. So yes. and we both have different perspective and different answers that we Indeed. give to some of those. And so we thought we would share with you how, what, how we answer some of the questions that we get asked. So – I thought I'd start with you. Putting mm -hmm. a, what's a common question that you get all the time? Well, the, one of the biggest questions is, what about you know if it's a more technical presentation or uh, sort of a, a scientific talk? And you know, my thing that I always say is there are many kinds of presentations. It's case by case, mm -hmm. or toki to mai ni yote, as we say in Japan. Uh, so there isn't one way to do it. And I think you wrote a great sort of little matrix called the, what was it, the slide landscape? Well, presentation landscape. Presentation landscape, which really shows the kind of the visually kind of looking at the different ways uh, of presenting. Mm -hmm. and would you mind like putting that matrix up there? And then I can sure. show you. Uh, th th <laughs> because it's very good to sort of visualize. Yeah, so we made a, I made a matrix, and it has different axes on it. So if we use GAR's language around a slidegement, if you put a slidegement here, and that's basically a um, document, slide you... Meant, yeah, it's not a real meant. word, so... <laughs> <laughs> but it's basically a, um, where you use a slide application to make a document instead of making a slide. And over here, you have what would be considered a real presentation, the way that a presentation is supposed to be used. What happens is just because we're building a document in a slide layout program, we feel like we have to present it instead of actually um, distributing it like it's a document. Mm -hmm. On this axis, I have um, formal presentations. And this is where it's really high stakes, and you have to have your game face on. It's not like an internal casual thing. It's where it, it's just really high stakes. And then down here, we have informal, or where there's a lot of camaraderie, um, where it might be where you're with a bunch of people and, and discussing a presentation. So mm -hmm. a lot of what we do lives up in this quadrant. I feel right. like a lot of the presentations we're talking about are up here. It's right. initial public offerings, it's the big sales conference, it's the mm -hmm. keynote at CES, and those kinds of things. And so the confusion is, mm -hmm. is that in a scientific presentation or research, like what McKinsey does, the mm -hmm. McKinsey Research is actually a document. It's a document made in a slide application, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of times it's talking about an internal strategy. So some of those fall here scientific research falls mm -hmm. here like they all fall mostly here so the questions we're getting aren't even really mm -hmm. related to what we but do but are these as as documents you know like good handouts or are these printed slides sort of storyboards down so here? if you notice if you've been in a meeting where mckinsey research has mm -hmm. been handed they print them out a lot and then they carry them around and they flip through them all the time right. so um there there's times where i've seen that scientists have to present their mm -hmm. research but they need to split it across more slides it doesn't mm -hmm. all have to be all at one time and because right. Because right. the presentation medium when you're presenting data is very mm -hmm. different than it when it's um, a document. Mm -hmm. So if you are presenting, you are controlling how fast you're letting your audience process right, your information. Right. And, mm -hmm. and you have to feed them the information and at the speed that they can process it. Mm -hmm. Right. So we would typically think of like a, you know, a Steve Jobs keynote. It might right. definitely be, it up, would be here, up here. Right? That's definitely right. the top. And the kinds of things I do a and you do, any, any kind of keynote is, is up here. Right. Um, and then if it's, a, you know, let's say a, um, a graduate student giving his thesis to three or four people around a conference room. I mean, really that, you do have to sort of stand and deliver sometimes. A whiteboard can work really well for that. Mm -hmm. But that also might be down here. A document, right. you have to speak to it, of course. Right. Uh, but it also has a lot well, more information. Well, what you can do, like if this is your thesis and you've created this really dense document because you've mm -hmm. got all this information, you take a subset of that, maybe 10% of the thesis or the mm -hmm. actual findings from your thesis, and you make that into a really nice presentation. Mm -hmm. You deliver this in like five minutes to give right. the big idea and the big takeaway from your thesis. Right. And then what you do is you go back and everyone sits around the table and discusses and goes yeah. into the detail, yeah. but around a printed document right. and not projected. This has more detail, but certainly not as much detail as the 300-page, you know, master's exactly. thesis, right? Exactly. That's, that's something different entirely. Okay, yeah. that's good. Um, yeah. We'll erase the board, yeah. if that's all right. Um, but go to the website down below on the on the Slideology website on the Dorothy blog, and mm -hmm. I don't, it was called the Presentation Landscape. Presentation Landscape, And yep. you did a really good video that and has a good illustration, and you can download uh, the PowerPoint of that, right? So you get the kind of the yeah, whole document. Yeah, I gave a PDF of the whole thing, so right. you could use it as a tool internally, okay. too. Yeah, yeah. That's good.